Hi, this is Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. The question I just got asked is, Teddy, when should you accept an invite from someone on LinkedIn that you don't know? This is a great question. I'm going to answer it here. You shouldn't just carte blanche accept all LinkedIn invites on LinkedIn. I never do. I'm pretty purposeful about who I connect with. And I do not accept a LinkedIn invite from someone who I don't know until after, until after I validate that I should connect with them. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you go to my network, you'll see that I have 20 right here, 20 pending invitations. Well, first of all, I never manage invitations from here. I always click on either see all in the number or it might say the word manage there. So click on that. And here's why I click on that. Because now, not only can I read the message that these people sent to me and I can reply to them, but I can also message the people who didn't give me a personal invite note. And so I'll do that with every individual who sends me an invitation to connect. I will either reply to their message or I will send them a new message from this page and only from this page because you're not connected to them yet. And I will ask them in my words, why do they want to connect? Pretty easy. And, and here's what I also do. Not only do I always send that message back and it's I use a tool called text expander so it's really easy for me to do that but I also give them one week to respond they get one week to respond with a meaningful response before I'll hit the accept button and if they don't respond in a week or they don't respond with a meaningful response that Got, gets me to believe I should go ahead and connect with them, then I hit the ignore button. It's really that easy, okay? So most people don't know how to send an invite message, and so I have to respond back to them. A lot of people don't send an invite message, so I have to start the conversation with them. But they have to respond with a meaningful response within one week, before I even consider hitting the accept button. It doesn't mean I'm going to hit the accept button. And if they don't respond, or they don't respond appropriately, then I hit the ignore button. It's really that easy. It's a business tool. This is not a place to collect connections with every Tom, Dick, Harry, and Betty on LinkedIn. There's something going on with LinkedIn messaging that you need to be aware of in this process. If I uh, come down here and I hit message right here two days ago, and I know I responded back to Akshana, and I hit message, it's going to create a new message. If I come over here and, and I reply to Heather, you can see it's going to be a new message. No matter where I am in my invitations on this manage invitation page, every time I click reply or message, it's going to create a new message despite I know for a fact that I have already messaged these people. Therefore, what you should do is you should go over here to messaging. Hopefully you have messaging over here and you don't have to go over to the messaging up top and look for these individuals and find the message that you've already sent to them and then you can reply or continue the conversation in that message versus starting a new message as if you haven't engaged with them at all. I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. Hope that idea is useful for you.